former Cytel employee faces criminal charges tonight. Authorities say he faked having the coronavirus causing a company shutdown. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell standing by live from the Spartanburg County Detention Center where that man just went before a judge, Ann. Gordon, that suspect, Jeffrey Long, just received a bond of $10,200 between these two charges. The judge said he's facing up to three years and 30 days in prison. On Friday, Jeffrey Long told his employer, Cytel, he had tested positive for COVID-19. The call center evacuated its employees, deep cleaned the building, and ordered those who were in contact with Long to self-quarantine for two weeks. The biggest fear we had was how is this going to uh, affect our company and the people around us. Inman Elementary School, where Long has a child enrolled, also received a copy of the same doctor's note from Long, saying he had visited the VA and tested positive for COVID-19 that very day. But police say he didn't, and that wasn't a doctor's note. Seems to me like the fellow just wanted a two-week paid vacation. Uh, but um, we're going to give him a little time over in the uh, Hotel California. You, know, you can't do this to people. Long is facing charges of breach of peace and forgery. This gentleman um, had a, a doctor's excuse. It wasn't written on letterhead or anything like that. Basically, you can make it up from your house. Wednesday, people went back to work at Cytel. The time lost has cost the company money and has cost employees like Cable paid time off. I am a veteran, and quite honestly, that makes me very angry because... He should know better. And the charges Long is facing today stem from sending that note to the Inman Elementary School. Sheriff Chuck Wright says more charges could be coming from his office sometime soon. Reporting live in Spartanburg and Maxwell 7 News. All right, Ann, thank you. Governor McMaster also weighed in on this case.